Hello fans of YouTube. While many of you know me as a chef and a culinary artist, this short video will show you some of my earlier work as a conventional visual artist. Mostly oil paintings on canvas and a few murals done with acrylic and latex since they dry faster, especially doing murals in public places. Most of this artwork is original, a lot of it done for commissions, but there is a few reproduction well indicated of master's tableaus that I worked as studies of their work as a learning tool. Most of these art pieces are now hanging in private collection in over 20 countries all over the world. As always, comment below these videos are much appreciated. They keep me producing more original content for y'all. Let me know what you are looking for as well. I respond to every comment. Please subscribe, comment, like this video if you do. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I also think that by showing you my fine art work, you may better understand where I'm coming from with my food and or edible material art. The question is, am I a creative chef or an artist creating fine art with edible material? Watch this entire short video and you will be the judge. Take a look at my food art videos too, so you can have the full picture, pun intended. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below this video. Now, without further ado, let's look at some artwork. This painting was commissioned by a Houston architect. The few next paintings were painted during my time spent working as a culinarian in Bermuda. While this video focuses on oil paint on canvas, I have worked with many other non-edible mediums. The historical place of St. George, Bermuda. The Waterlot Inn, Bermuda, you can see a portion of the Fairmont Southampton in the background. This is a reproduction of someone's previous work. A river scene close to my hometown of Lunéville in France. A view from a lake I visited while working as a culinary instructor in Vermont. A tableau depicting a lovely home in Kansas City, Missouri. I also got inspired by the beautiful sceneries in Canada while I worked there. I painted this view of the town of Hob Amneka during my military service there. The son of a friend of mine who left this world way too soon. While painting many different subject matters, I developed an affinity for portraits. Portraiture soon became my main source for commission work. For full-length portrait, I tried to place the subject in a familiar surrounding with pets or with particular clothing or outfit, adding to their personality and character. However, by large, my head and shoulder portraits were the most popular and very much in demand. As I mentioned earlier, some of those paintings are now displayed in private collections in more than 20 countries all over the world. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot to tell you, I will leave links to my edible art videos in the description area. Shirley worked at the same Southampton Princess Hotel, now the Fairman Southampton in Bermuda when I was working there. Nicole was my best friend's sister and neighbor when I was growing up. This young lady definitely wanted a best friend to be part of this double portrait and many more portraits of real people sitting on my favorite easel 
You probably have noticed by now that these are not displayed in any particular chronological order, but uh, rather grouped by themes and subject matters. Another young lady's portrait in a home doing what she loves to do. Some nude work was also part of my repertoire, here slightly and strategically altered to protect the innocent. Several couples and families wanted their portraits done with the Bermuda scenery backdrop while we were working there. Michael Jordan's portrait was also a commission. My younger brother Eric and his wife Marie-Jeanne commissioned me to do this painting. This was also a commission and I looked at it as a study of the artist's work. Upon closing of the French garrison, this painting was given to the mayor of the city of Ob am Neckar in Black Forest, Germany. This is painted with thick layer of paint using palette knives. I also enjoyed painting many still lives. Here trying to capture the beauty of silver and copper. Researching different genres and styles, always preferring vibrant colors in my work. I also enjoyed painting all types of flowers, textures, colors, amazing. It must be my romantic selves coming through, <laughs> Here only the distinct and fragrant aroma of lilac is missing. The beauty of roses is fascinating. Now, when done watching this video, do not forget to watch my artwork done with edible material on my channel. Cocoa painting, chocolate sculptures, sugar sculptures, pastillage, gum paste painted with food coloring. Then you will know much more what I do. Now come the murals. As I announced earlier, I switched to acrylic and latex for murals since they dry much faster, especially in public areas such as in this pool. You want the paint to dry quickly. Switching medium takes some getting used to. Thanks for watching.